I'm actually hoping to finish recording Evolver real soon. I think I'm gonna do that right after this game. I have a feeling that I'm nearly done with the game. But then again, who the fuck knows? I've never beaten it. The music on the UCS side can be really fucking atmospheric, I gotta tell you. Like, the entire soundtrack of the game is really good. They did a really good job on that. While we're waiting, I'm going to remind you people that there is... Um, when you're playing legit, there are two ways to beat a mission. One, you can rush as quickly as possible. And two, you can turtle. Why is that? Well, it's quite simple. Usually on every mission, or at the very least at the majority of missions, the enemy also has to build his base. Most of the time they have a slight advantage of course, they may have some buildings already available to them. But for the most part they need to build their own base. So if you were to rush, you would be able to knock the shit out of them before they're even ready to fight back. However, if you turtle, you will eventually starve them of resources and they will not be able to do anything against you. Alright, so let's get to work! As you can see, our heavy plasma cannons are doing an extraordinary job at destroying these turrets. However, we have a slight issue. We're still encountering some tigers. Uh, pfft, tigers, what am I saying? We're still encountering some thunderers. So what we need to do is get something that will combat these bastards. For now, we'll just have to retreat. Because we're kind of destroying my units here. Yeah, get wrecked, boys. I should say girls, actually, whatever. Oh, I'm so misogynist. <laughs> the Thunderers will not survive this, which is good. You know what? I should actually make myself a repair bot. Oh, wait. I already had some repair bots. Shit. Whatever. Let's tell these guys to go over here. Yeah, looks like the map is pretty small. That's good. Why did you stop? Oh, let's see. Wait a minute. Ah, okay. The names kind of confuse me sometimes. Let's get some salamanders. The salamanders aren't totally useless, it's just that I don't really find them useful most of the time. I'm pretty sure that uh, a more talented player can find them much more useful than I can. Cause right now, well, it's nice to have them, but once I get the jaguars in place, They'll become absolutely obsolete. Calculated. Under normal circumstances, you would fix your units with a repair bot. Stop. Repair bots are pretty quick on the job, and they can be used to repair buildings. They can also be used to change the color of the buildings and units. Not useful in single player, but extensively, enormously useful in multiplayer. Because of a good old espionage. I mean, who would expect their own blip to just come over to them and fucking start shooting them? Until you look at the blip and you realize, shit, that's not even my own type of unit. 
It's quite funny actually when it happens. Let's see, there's still a few broken bots. Completed production. Production. Completed. But the rest of the broken bots can already be reached. Why did he do that? Fucking retard. That needed fixing? <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Let's speed this operation up. It's taking forever. Why did you go there? You fuckers, stop going there. I know I can tell him to fucking hold the fucking fort, but I'm constantly forgetting to do that. Stop going there! Ay -ay 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 -ay. Say what you will about the game, but there is one truth, one universal truth about it. The pathfinding is balls. Much like AI. Well, AI isn't too bad, but it's quite balls too. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a couple of uh, salamanders now. Let's see what's going on. Ah, the jaguars have been properly researched. Which means we can start doing some work. Jaguars have two slots available for weapons already. One is for the large ones and one is for the little ones. Let's see what we can put on. Ah, yes, that needs to be upgraded first. Uh, let's see. For some reason, we don't have any anti air plasma cannons. I don't see why. Let's wait a bit before moving on with the Jaguars. I'm pretty sure that if we research more, we will be able to make them even better. Mech operational. Well, then, let's get started. There are some artillery cannons that you need to watch out for. They are capable of destroying units and mass. Luckily, they do not possess any shielding technology whatsoever, so th their destruction is pretty simple. It's a pretty simple map. Well, we breached one of the places. The enemy will definitely try to make the most out of their shielding technology. I believe LC was the first one to make it. But uh, who cares who made it? What matters is uh, who will make the most use out of it. And it's gonna be me because I am reckoning their fucking base. Mass destruction is imminent. Oh look at that, some batteries. I like them batteries. I like destroying them batteries. Swarm of mass destruction is here. Oh look at that, fat girls. That kind of reminds me of something that they'll need to do. But that'll be a bit later. First we must eliminate their power supply. And all of this debris too, it's blocking the way. Uh, they still have power. This isn't a very big base. Then again, this isn't a very big map. They have some pretty big uh, electro cannons on the buildings. So gotta watch out for that shit. Eats through your shields like nothing else. Ah, yes. And with that last one, their power generation will be nothing. 
nothing short of fucking useless. Yep, they are out of energy. Mission accomplished, I say. But there's still a few of these artillery bastards shooting us up. And what makes these particular artillery cannons annoying is that they do not use uh, ammunition. As far as I'm aware. They might be using ammunition, but they just have a lot. But I think they're energy based. So they can uh, keep firing as long as they wish. Makes them particularly dangerous, because no other faction has energy-based artillery. Okay, I think that's about it. What else is there left to do? Eliminate all enemy units. Okay. Uh, hold on. Ah, uh, never mind, I don't have to type that cheat. <laughs> One turret. Oh, there's also some enemies. He does not appear to be firing back. Oh, now he is. Run away! Oh, he missed. Wow, he sucks. <laughs> Hmm, okay then. So we're only missing a few things, are we? Okay, we destroyed all the enemy outposts. And that means we're only missing the destruction of all the enemy units. But the enemy units could be anywhere. So let's go look for them. It's probably those unit transporters that we have to blow up. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. Enemy contact in range. Commenced. I mean, how does this even count? It's just transporters. Wait a minute. That's a super fighter there. Ah, sneaky bastard. Well, yeah, that's it. All missions successfully completed. Further instructions to follow. Well, that was a simple mission. A simple mission for simple minded people. Like me. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's have a look at the research tree. What is being researched first? Uh, no. And no. Let's get the heavy plasma cannon research first, then all the rocket launchers. Anything else left to research? Ah yeah, the mine layer. I never use mine layers, so I'm not gonna bother researching them in the first place. Now some of you might wonder, why am I not researching the anti-rocket? It sounds like it's a useful thing. Why not? Well, the answer to that is pretty simple, actually. Anti-rocket sucks. All it does is shoot down rockets. It doesn't do anything else. It's purely defensive. And I know some of you might think, Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I can use that to defend myself. You could, yes. But I would not recommend it, because for some reason it takes priority over all other weapons on the headquarters list. Like whenever you tell the HQ to auto-upgrade building cannons, it will always pick up anti-rockets and some other thing. It will never take anything else that might have been more useful. And this is a problem because anti-rocket uses ammo. So if you have anti-rockets, you'll need to have aerial supply depots. Something that I'm completely independent from because I'm entirely energy based. So fuck the anti-rocket. Still got a bit to go for this fucker. 
I really don't like having to wait so long, but I will not use the cheat to speed it up. Well, while, we're, while we are waiting, I'm going to blow your mind. Cats love cheese. Oh my god. Well, that probably wasn't not much of a revelation, was it? <laughs> Well, we may like cheese, but the two cats in particular that I have here, they seem to be rather addicted to cheese. I not about the other one, but one of them. It's sleeping right next to me, actually. She goes fucking crazy for the cheese. What a crazy fucking world we live in. Cats don't eat fish, they eat cheese. What's next? Mice are gonna eat fucking cows and shit? You know, that probably happens. That probably does happen. Now that I think about it. Still half a minute to go. What other stupid shit could I blubber out of my mouth? Mmm, I got nothing. <laughs> The heavy plasma cannon upgrade here will compact the two cannons which are already available to us with the current version into a smaller version and will save a lot of space for extra add-ons, which is why I want to research this. It'll allow us to have even more weapons for the Jaguar. And it is complete! Uh, what's it researching right now? Ah yes, ammo. You'll want to research ammo if you're ever using rockets or something. I'll you research them because I can. Better rockets will deal better damage and they'll also have better homing capabilities. <laughs> Look at this motherfucking beast of destruction. It has a heavy plasma cannon. That's two cannons. Then there's a plasma cannon, which is another two. And then there's another plasma cannon, which is another two. That's six plasma cannons shooting away at a merciless rate. <laughs> 